is Metmed a must-use commander in Rise of Kingdoms? That is what I want to cover in this video today, is whether or not Metmed, with his museum buff, is a must-use commander in Season of Conquest. Because, you know, the museum buff is only for Season of Conquest and beyond. You do not have the museum buff in KVK2. So this is a question that is asked quite a bit in the comment section of my videos, is whether or not Metmed is still a viable option for a secondary commander in Season of Conquest, what skill levels he has to be at if he has to be expertise, or what pairings he has to be at with the skills to be usable, and what pairings are going to be best fits for him and what you can use in Season of Conquest. So today we are going to be diving into Metmed, what the best pairings are in Season of Conquest, and what skills he needs to have. If you guys are new here, this is Gains Gaming. We create Rise of Kingdoms content. So make sure if you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. But Metmed the second, he had a complete revitalization with the museum buff. And the reason why is because his museum buff is just so dang strong. 30% troop health and 10% increased skill damage. That is just absurd. That is an insane amount of stats. That's like an entire extra skill worth of stats right there. That's probably better than an actual skill. Um, you know, like a support skill, essentially. But if we go back to Metmed here, the skills you need to have for Metmed, the first skill is going to be his direct damage factor, up to five enemy troops in a fan shape. And then obviously we'll reduce the damage by 15% for each target. His damage is not very much. 1150 for five targets. That is not a lot. That's very, very little. So his active skill is not why you're investing in him by any means. His second skill here, you have a 20% increase of attack and 20% increased skill damage. Keep in mind, you also have the 10% skill damage from the museum buff. So that's 30% total here. His third skill, completely irrelevant for the open field. This is for launch an attack against the city. So you're not gonna be using this because you probably shouldn't be attacking the city with Metmed anyway, because this isn't 2019. And then his last skill, gains 10% unit capacity. If it is relating a rally attack, once again, you shouldn't be using it as a rally commander anyway, but you are gaining 10% increased capacity of your units, which is very beneficial when it comes to extra skill damage because you have more troops. Um, Cause you can see right here, like, you know, obviously this is level 40. So level 40, typically you do not have 210,000 capacity. If I find another commander at level 40, you can see right here, Tamaris, 186,000. So that's an extra 24,000 units that you can have in your army here with Metmed. And, you know, once you have a commander at level 60, it's going to be even more because it's, you know, the, the 10%. So having the extra troops is going to be great. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, you're not rallying. His expertise is just going to increase his active skill. I have not yet gotten there. I'm at 5535, five, five, which is actually exactly where you want to be. The first, second, and fourth skill are the only ones that truly matter. Obviously, having the expertise is great, but I've been playing the game for, I don't know, like what, 1,400 days, 1,320 days, and I have still not yet maxed Metmed uh, from Gold Keys, because obviously I have not put any universal heads into him, because that would be stupid. So looking at Metmed, 5515 is the minimum of what you want to have. Um, I would say the, the next skill that you could miss out on is the last skill. So going 5511 first, and then trying to max out this last skill. That's what I did. I locked him at 5511. So I used my skill lock, locked him at 5511, and then just kept on adding skills to the last two skills. Because these are the two that, I mean, you don't want this third skill because it doesn't matter. And the fourth skill is just an extra bonus. But the first two is really what matters. You can run a Met Med at 5511 and it's going to work great, especially if you have the museum buff, which you know, if you're in Season Conquest, you absolutely need to have this museum buff, not just the first one, but the second one as well for the 30% troop health and 10% skill damage. So which commanders are the best options for Met Med? Honestly, basically anything, like literally anything can be paired with Met Med, but there's a couple that I think are the best options when it comes to using him as a secondary. And the reason why is because of the extra skill damage. You want to make sure you are pairing him with a commander that has a lot of skill damage. And extra bonus is if you pair him with someone that has single target damage, because he's going to provide the AoE that it's going to be missing out on. However, there are other options that you could use a double AoE pairing. So 
in my opinion, the best two pairings for Metmed is going to be Nevsky as number one and Scipio as number two. So that's going to be obviously a Nevsky primary, Metmed secondary, which I have personally used and did very, very well with. And then second, a Scipio with Metmed. These two pairings are absolutely phenomenal. I have run both of them. Both have performed tremendously. And the reason why is because of that extra skill damage. Extra 30% skill damage on Nevsky is just absurd. And, you know, just his, his entire kit, you're also adding an extra 25% skill damage from his kit too. So that's 25% plus 20% plus 10%. That's a lot of skill damage that you're going to be doing. Plus his insane active skill of 2300 damage factor. Plus you're reducing the defense of the enemy. Like that's just, that's just crazy. And then if you go to Scipio, you can see 2000 damage factor up to three enemies in a forward fan shape. And obviously at every target you hit is going to reduce it, but it's still 2000 damage. You're also going to reduce her health by 30% before Metmed skill goes off. So you're going to reduce her health and then hit them again with Metmed. And obviously his, his skill isn't as much, but it's still going to do a lot of damage. And then his expertise, you're going to add an extra 10% more skill damage. Like this is this is just insane. Like you're gonna add more skill damage with with Scipio, as well. And so like these two commanders are just phenomenal pairings with Metmed. And the reason why I love Metmed so much, and the reason why I think he is a must-use commander when you enter Season of Conquest, is because you can begin saving up heads. Like you can start saving up heads, saving for Season of Conquest, saving up your gold heads. And then when you get to Season of Conquest, you're probably going to have a Metmed at 5511, or at least close to that. Like maybe 5411, like you're super close to 5511. You can immediately max either Nevsky or Scipio, and you automatically have a great pairing of Nevsky with Metmed or Scipio with Metmed. Either one of those, if you just run one march until you're able to invest into another commander, like for example, if you invest into Nevsky, and you run Nevsky with Metmed, and then you're just saving up heads until you can max out Joan Prime, like that, that's that's phenomenal. Or you could keep the Nevsky with Metmed, and then you could start investing into Scipio, and then you can run Scipio and another commander. And like the, the results are endless. Like you can you can continue to put these commanders with Metmed. He's a great transition commander where you can put him with just about anybody that's gonna do skill damage, and he's gonna do phenomenal. One commander as well that people use in season two that I just made a video on is Saladin. I have seen people use Saladin with Metmed. Obviously Saladin doesn't do as much damage, but it's still a decent pairing. Like it's not meta, it's not amazing, but it's still a good pairing, especially if you've invested into Saladin for KVK2 and you're like, okay, well, I don't have, uh, you know, I don't have Nevsky maxed out yet. I don't have enough heads for Nevsky yet. So I could just run Saladin with Metmed in season of conquest and trade decently and you know have at least some tankiness as well. Um, cause you probably have them at five, 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 one and you know, you have tankiness, you have the extra damage, you, you know, you're, you have the extra March speed and you're, you're getting that benefit until you can max out Nevsky. And so like the results are really endless of what you can do with a commander like Metmed and just the flexibility that he provides you in the game is just phenomenal. So now people have also asked me, like, if I'm super close to finishing Metmed, like I'm at five, four, one, one. Like, should I put universal heads into him to get him to 5511? No, absolutely not. Unless you have like a king land fight and you are like four, like four heads away or something extremely close like that. That would be the only reason why you could rationally be like, okay, well, getting an extra 4% skill damage and 4% attack, like over the course of hours of fighting in king's land, like sure, that you can argue four heads or something tiny like that. But if you're like 40 heads away, like no, especially if you like, oh, I have a fight in a couple weeks and I want to have him finished up. No, like you're just going to continue to open up gold keys until you finish him up. So do not put gold heads into gold key commanders, even useful ones like Matt Matt. It's just, it's not worth it. He, he's a great commander, but you should not put gold heads in him because then you're going to have a, an excess. Like for example, Cleo, I have maxed out. And I, I recycle these heads every KVK, every pre KVK, and I have 200 heads still um, from you know maxing out Cleo and just opening up more gold keys. And you know, on top of that, I still have all these chests too. I have 422 of these commander chests that I can't use because um, you know you get them from 
events like this where you can buy out the shop um, and other events where it just gives it to you because I don't actually buy these. I buy all the sovereign keys um, to continue saving those up because I have 350 of those now. Um, so I'll have to do a live stream with that in this next KVK hopefully. But like I said, with MetMed, the results are just really endless of what you can do with a commander like MetMed and how honestly amazing he is because he is going to boost the skill damage of your primary commander. And if you were running a Nevsky primary or a Scipio primary with MetMed in Season of Conquest, you are still going to trade great. Like I have run both of those in the open field. And honestly, like the difference between Nevsky Joan and Nevsky with MetMed, like sure, it's a little noticeable, but it's actually pretty close in the amount of damage that you do like honestly it's a good budget march like nevsky with metmed i mean i'm not saying it's better than nevsky and joan prime like i just said it's better um like nevsky joan prime is better than metmed obviously but like i mean if if you're running low on uh commander sculptures then running the the metmed secondary is a great way to spend your sculptures until you have the ability to max out joan prime because you know even though joan prime is a lot better than metmed it's still a great pairing that you can run in Season of Conquest. So in conclusion here, Mehmed is still a great commander, it's still a commander that you can use as a transition commander especially, but even like long term in Season of Conquest, you could still use Mehmed. And honestly, like I've been looking for a spot to put him because like I want him back in my lineup because the extra health, the extra skill damage is just unbeatable, honestly. Like 10% extra skill damage and 30% health, that is pretty hard to beat. So, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys use MetMed and what pairings you use with him, because I'd be curious to see if anybody else uses other pairings other than, you know, Scipio and Nevsky, because I know there's lots of different options. So I'm curious what you guys use in the open field and how it trades. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. And thanks again for checking out the video, guys. Have a great rest of your day.